incidence of tax. So what happens in incidence of tax? So who is going to pay the tax? When the government is going to impose the tax on one party. So there are two parties, let's say. One is seller, other is consumer. So in case of the tax is imposed on the seller, then is it that the seller is only going to pay the entire tax or he is going to share the burden of the tax? So when we say there is something which is called as a statutory incidence, statutory incidence or a legal incidence. So supposedly I am government. You guys are producers. You guys are suppliers. You guys are sellers. And I put a tax on you. I put a tax like, okay, you have to pay this GST. Now, what you will be doing is, although it is imposed on you, so a statutory incidence is on you that you will be paying the tax. I will be collecting tax from you. But you can also pass on the burden of the tax to the consumer. It is not necessary that you will be paying the entire tax. You can pass on the tax to the consumer. And when you share the burden, ultimately who bears the tax, who bears the burden of the tax, that is what is called the economic incidence. Let's read the definition for statutory and economic incidence. In case of statutory incidence, you have a legal assignment of the tax burden to a particular individual or a firm by law. Legal assignment. So by, by law, a particular person or a firm is liable to pay a tax. That's another issue, whether he will be giving all tax or he is going to share the burden. Economic incidence, it is the actual burden of the tax and examines who bears the cost of the tax. So supposedly I am the seller, but I pass on the 100% burden on you. So you will be bearing the tax. You will be bearing the entire cost of the tax, right? So economic incidence on you, although statutory incidence is on me, one thing, right? Then you have three rules of tax incidence. Let's have a look at that. The first rule is that the statutory burden of a tax does not describe who actually bears the tax. So, for example, there is a demand for cigarettes. Generally, the demand for cigarettes is a perfectly inelastic demand. Some of you might have the habit of uh, having cigarettes. I am government and I put the tax. Right. So the seller from whom you are buying this cigarette, he knows whether I am going to increase the price or not. Because the tax has been imposed, you will still buy it. So he will pass on the entire burden of the tax to you. So it doesn't matter whether the government, I am the government, I have imposed tax on the seller. It is not necessary that the seller is going to bear the entire tax. He is passing on the burden to you, right? So the statutory burden of the tax does not describe who actually bears the tax. First point. The side of the market on which the tax is imposed is irrelevant for the distribution of the tax burden. Same example. I am government. You guys are consumers. Someone is a seller. I have imposed a tax on him. He is a seller of cigarettes. Although I have imposed tax on him, not on you. You guys are consumer side. He is a seller side. Although I have imposed a tax on, on, uh, on a seller, not on you guys. But he is going to pass on the entire burden to you. Because he knows that the demand for cigarettes is a perfectly inelastic demand. It does not matter. That even if he's going to increase the price because the taxes have increased, you will still buy it. You can't get away with that. Right? Parties with inelastic demand or supply bears tax. Parties with elastic demand or elastic supply will avoid a tax. What do you mean by this? I have just given you the same example. You guys have perfectly inelastic demand for cigarettes. You need to have that. Right? 
Uh, so when I say you, I don't mean you. I mean, I'm just giving an example. So somebody has the perfectly inelastic demand for cigarettes. Consumers have, let's say, perfectly inelastic demand for cigarettes. And government has imposed a tax on the supplier. So what he is going to do? He will pass on the tax. He will pass on the entire tax. You guys have the inelastic demand now. You will bear the burden of the tax. Supposedly, you have a perfectly elastic demand for something. And I am the supplier of something for whose the demand is perfectly elastic. So if the government is going to put a tax on me and I say, uh, hey, government has imposed a tax on me, so I will be increasing the price. You will say nothing to me. You guys are consumers, you will say nothing to me. We will buy from someone else who is not increasing the price due to tax. So, when you have perfectly inelastic demand, you are avoiding tax. Same thing is with supply. The party who has perfectly elastic demand or perfectly elastic supply will avoid tax. While the party who has perfectly inelastic demand or perfectly inelastic supply will bear the entire burden of the tax. So these are the two very uh, extreme positions. You can also talk about something in between. Somebody who has relatively, so supposedly demand is relatively more inelastic than supply. So the consumers are going to bear more burden of the tax. Maybe not 100%, but they'll be bearing more burden of the tax. So supposedly I have I'm going to draw this graph and uh, we have the normal uh, demand curve and we have the normal supply curve. So these are perfectly, uh, not perfectly, these are normally elastic demand curve and normally elastic supply curve. You have price, you have quantity out here. And what you have is you have equilibrium quantity and you have equilibrium price, right? So this is the equilibrium price, let's say P1. This is the equilibrium quantity, let's say Q1. This is the demand curve. This guy is the supply curve. Fair enough. Now the tax is being imposed. Now the moment tax is being imposed, the supply curve is going to shift upwards. Right? So it is going to shift upwards. How much tax is being imposed? So supply curve is shifted upwards by the amount of the tax. So this much tax has been imposed. This much. This much. Right? This much tax has been imposed. Fair enough. How much price has increased? This much. So earlier consumers were paying P1. Now they are paying P2. Right? So out of the amount of the tax increase, the amount of the price increase is this much for consumers? So this, this entire blue line is the tax. So this much part of the tax is being borne by consumers in terms of increased prices. So burden on consumers. Burden on consumers. Right? Burden on consumers. What about this? Out of the tax, this much portion of the tax is being borne by consumers. The remaining portion is being borne by producers. Burden on producers. Burden on producers. Right? That is one example. Now let us look at one example like this. You have let us take up the case of uh, perfectly elastic supply, right? So let us say you have I have perfectly elastic supply. I am the producer. Huh? You guys have a normal demand curve like this. I have the perfectly elastic supply. Right. Huh? So the equilibrium quantity is Q1, equilibrium price is P1. And let us say the uh, tax is being imposed. So the moment tax is being imposed, the supply curve is going to shift upwards. And the price is going to increase by P2. How much is the amount of the tax? This much, beta. This much, right? This is the amount of the tax. 
by the amount of the tax, your supply curve has shifted up, right? So you can also write it somewhere. This entire thing is the tax T. This thing is a tax T. And how much is the increase in price of consumers? So earlier they were paying P1, now they are paying P2. So it is delta P. Right, beta? This is delta P. Huh? So the entire burden of the tax is being borne by consumers. Why? Because the, I mean, earlier they were paying P1, now they are paying P2. So the entire change in price is equal to the amount of the tax. So the entire burden of the tax is being borne by consumers in case of perfectly elastic supply. So I have told you now, third point, the party who has relatively more elastic demand or supply will be avoiding tax. So I am that party whose, whose uh, supply is perfectly elastic. So I'll be avoiding the complete tax. You with me, Rita? Huh? So this is what I wanted to do in this uh, recording. Thank you.